the milk man in the desert. Yeah. And now we're here in the AC. And now we're here <laughs> in, the, in, in the biggest IMAX. Uh, I mean, this is huge. Yeah, ever. This is, this is this is going to be cool, y'all, and it's going to be, I mean, the, the, some of the things that we did with IMAX. Wow. What a movie. <sighs> Man. We good. We good. I'm back. You know what time it is. We're here. The premiere date is now. Okay. Came out. Nope. Is directed by Jordan Peele. Written and directed by him and produced. Okay. This film stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Michael Wincott, um, Brandon Pera, and uh, Stephen Young. Um, this story, without giving anything away, because, you know, with movies nowadays, everything has to be pretty, pretty mysterious all right so no spoilers in this reveal but the basic plot of this movie is this is the plot synopsis on IMDB um, a series of strange and mysterious events unfold in a lonely California town out in the desert I'm paraphrasing but whatever um, Let's just jump right into it. Um, this movie was amazing. It was great. Um, this is my third time watching it. Yes, I've seen it three times. Um, also, when I went to the press screening for this movie the first time, the theater that I saw it at, um, I probably won't ever go there again because they messed up on the audio. And the whole time while the movie was playing the audio was not synced up to the movie so me and my friends were like um fix this please because it was really taking me out of the movie it was taking us out of the movie so um yeah I, um please don't ever do that again but i did see the movie for a second time on thursday night and i saw it again tonight in IMAX with my whole family and watching the movie for a third time really opened my eyes because this is definitely you know Jordan Peele his movies are always very thought-provoking and the themes and motifs in his films are very it really makes you think and the themes and motifs in this movie are so strong that the more that I watched the movie, it really made me appreciate it a lot more because um, I really do believe that this is his greatest movie so far. Um, this is really his magnum opus in a way because the story is it, it has such excellent direction and it's so well, well realized that Jordan Peele immerses you into this new world with these new characters and all of these new things that I don't want to give away but it just it's really it's it's really a spectacle to watch and seeing it on IMAX heightens that experience because this movie was filmed with IMAX cameras and certain sequences were shot in IMAX. Also shout out to the cinematographer of this movie, Hoyt Van Hoytema, who has worked on a few films with Christopher Nolan. 
and you as you all may know Christopher Nolan his movies are often beautiful because he I think with every movie that he films there's IMAX so um, this movie um, it, it was amazing like it was really truly sorry about that it was really truly amazing to watch because you're watching this movie or you're watching it on a big screen and you're just like wow like it's really a spectacle to watch uh, it really makes you appreciate Jordan as a filmmaker and the hard work that he had to do to get this movie made um, but the characters in the movie, Daniel Kaluuya plays OJ, and right off the bat, like, he was just one of my favorite characters of the movie, hands down. He's so strong, he's stoic, and he's just so heroic, bars, okay? But, um, he was just like a very likable character. He was almost like a, like a leading man in like a Western movie, like, he really... He almost like drew comparisons from Buck, from uh, Sidney Poitier's um, Buck and the Preacher um, from 1972, I think. But um, the movie, he was just a really good character. He was a really cool character. And then you have Kiki Palmer, which play who who she plays um, her sister or his sister, and um, the two of them just go. They just go perfect together. I think that Jordan Pill really did really good casting. And that's also with Brandon Pereira, uh, Michael Wincott, and Stephen Young, who also are a really good supporting cast. And um, I think the movie just really has good character building. And um, there's one scene in particular between Emerald Haywood and O.J. Haywood. Um, it's just a very muted scene, but the score, oh, the score of this movie is absolutely amazing, but it's this very quiet scene, it's a very muted scene of these two characters just walking in the sunset, and it, the score is rising, and it's just so beautiful, um, it's just a really, it, this is probably... Well, not that I didn't appreciate Jordan's other films, but this is the first time where I really appreciated Jordan's vision because he really wanted to put something on the screen and make the audience like, wow. And there's certain sequences in here where there's just suspense, there's laughter, there's fear, um, melancholy. And it's really like a big summer blockbuster of, of an original summer blockbuster with an original script, a great director. And honestly, we just really don't really, we don't get movies like this that much. So when they do come out, I really want people to go out and support this form of filmmaking because I really think that we live in a golden age somewhat we kind of live in a golden age where um movies like this even with top gun maverick which i didn't review but we have a lot of these big blockbuster movies original movies mostly original movies that we don't really get that often and the market is often saturated with marvel movies or you know, comic book movies, which there's nothing wrong with. I do really enjoy those movies. But to get something that's original and it has great cinematography, has good writing, has good inspirations, oh my god, the references in this movie were amazing. But to get all of that in a in a packaged movie, no sequel baiting or nothing, great characters, all of that get that kind of a movie in a theater in IMAX it's just awe-inspiring it really is a spectacle to watch and 
the themes like I said the themes and the motifs that he layers into this movie really really make you think and I think it's talking about wanting to be seen the media um, you know the history of filmmaking and it's really about a lot of things honestly and I really do believe that people need to stop comparing this movie to get out and us because all of the all of his movies stand on their own legs and they all feature their own um, meaning and weight to them and nope I think is his it really is his best movie honestly um, but yeah um, 10 out of 10 man seriously a true cinematic masterpiece and that's coming from somebody who's seen it three times and I'm planning on seeing it again because it's just that good and I really don't see any faults in it but uh, yeah suggest you guys check it out but till the next time peace out